Years ago in her native New Jersey, Eleanor Scully was told that they just don't accept women on the rescue squad. Their loss, she went on to dedicate her life to saving others. That's why she's this week's Super Senior. Here's Joe Carroll. <laughs> At first glance, Eleanor Scully may look like a lonely woman, perhaps at a senior center. Numbness on the right or left side. But the truth is, she's learning about something that's her life, saving others. I have to know this because I'm an advanced EMT and a crew chief. Okay. For the last 23 years, Eleanor has been at the Bristol Rescue Squad, going out on calls. A very rewarding job, yes. It's the responsibility of every crew member to restock the ambulance. Eleanor makes sure all three of the trucks are in working order. It is on, so we just have to make sure that we have everything that we need in here. The ambulance is fully stocked up, but there is a problem. Well, I think that indicates we have a dead battery. Rescue One is, for now, immobile. I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> not a mechanic, but a valuable asset to the squad. The crew chief most likely will be the one on a rescue call in the six towns they serve in Addison County. How many hours a week are you here? Me? Yeah. Uh, 50 to 60. 50 to 60? Yes. She does five shifts a week. And what's remarkable? She's 84. Some might say, what's an 84-year-old doing going out on calls? My own children tell me that. <laughs> More power to her. I mean, she's an asset to us. Without her, we wouldn't have a rig out every single day. I think I just feel blessed that I'm in good health and do not feel my age. The reality for Bristol Rescue is fewer volunteers. They have the equipment not the people. And we are so short of help, we would never get a third crew together. The problem isn't confined to Bristol, but all over Vermont. It's difficult. They are requiring more and more training and more and more hours of training. Not only does she put in 50 to 60 hours in Bristol, here in her hometown of Lincoln, she's on the medical first response. She's even the town health officer. After raising six kids, Eleanor and her husband, Bud, came to Vermont to retire. Yeah, he spent many, many, many hours here, too. He was also on the rescue squad, serving as president. Bud died six years ago. After his passing, Eleanor never thought of giving up her passion. It is a dedication. You have to enjoy doing it. She, anybody here will tell you she's Graham. As a little girl, all she wanted to be was a nurse. Some more in there. Eleanor set that goal, but offered so much more. A seemingly ageless super senior who's helping others. Joe Carroll, Channel 3 News, Bristol. She said she doesn't feel 84. She doesn't look no, 84. I know. Holy smokes. Well, once a week, Eleanor even bunks in the building. Wow. And recently, she won the Above and Beyond Award from the Bristol American Legion for her service to people in the area. Congrats to her. Yeah. A Greensboro woman.